No, Professor, you don't get it. I can't work with him. Just pair me up with someone else, okay? Because this is the final project and it's gonna take weeks to finish. You think I want to spend that amount of time with him? Yeah, well, I don't care if it's not nice and I don't care if he hears me. It's true. Ugh, yeah, I know. I know. I need this class to graduate, and I get that this project is like a third of our final grade and all, but isn't there some other way? Maybe I could do the project alone? What does that mean? You think I can't do it alone? Fine. Maybe I could like slip you 50 bucks in the bathroom or something and you could just give me an A. Come on, help a girl out. Ugh, fine. I'll do it. This is why your husband left you, bitch. Alright, buddy. I gave it the old college try, but it looks like I'm stuck with you on this one. Oh, try not to act too excited. Look, I get it. We both hate each other. I hate you because you're a dweeb, and you hate me because I never let you forget what a dweeb you are. And maybe, because of that one time I saw you at the diner and shook your can of Dr. Pepper and opened it all over your pants. <laughs> Man, that was funny. Anyway, listen. Professor paired us up because she thinks you're a huge nerd and we can work together to get a good grade. Let's be honest, I don't really plan on working with you, but I do plan on getting a good grade. I really need to pass this stupid class. And, if I don't, you're going to have a lot more to worry about than a fizzy soda. Got it? Good. I can tell by that little loser puppy dog look you got when I yell at you that you understand. <laughs> My god, you're so scared of me. It would almost be kind of cute if it wasn't so pathetic. Tell you what, I have an idea. How about you just do the whole project yourself, and you let me know when it's done so I can put my name on it? Oh, yeah. I forgot I had to record half the lines for the video. <sighs> you have a pretty sharp memory. Too bad it's wasted on someone with no life. <laughs> Ugh, fine. I'll be at your place at five on Monday, but... You better have all my lines written by the time I get there. I don't want to spend a minute more than I have to in whatever little rat hole you live in. Hmm. So, this is your dorm room? Wow. I don't know what I expected, but it's actually not that bad. Alright, so let's get those lines. Chop, chop. Whoa, this is like 10 pages. Did you really research and write all this over the weekend? That's kind of impressive. Or, I mean, it would be if it wasn't just because you have no friends, so you have nothing better to do. I was at a house party over the weekend pounding rum and coke, so I guess I can't relate to staying up all night alone to do some stupid classical history project. But hey, if your lack of a social life gets me that A, I won't complain. Now, where am I supposed to sit? We have to sit together? On what, your couch? Do I look like I want to sit next to you? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just let me sit, and I'll do my lines, and then you can do yours. We have to be in the video together. Ugh, oh my god. Why does this project have to be so annoying? Okay, fine, whatever. Here, I'll sit down and you can sit next to me. Just don't touch me. I don't want your sweaty little mitts on my brand new jeans. Hey, I said don't touch me. 
It was an accident. I don't care. You're about to have another accident if you do it again. Move over. Yeah, I know there's not enough room, just... Ugh, whatever. Fine. Just give me the script. Ugh, let's just get this over with, okay? I don't want to spend any more time than I have to with your wormy little body pressing into me. Do I look into that camera on the table? Okay. Cato the Younger was a Roman senator. I know how to pronounce his name. I read the textbook too, obviously. What, you think I didn't read it? I just made a mistake. Shut up and don't interrupt me again. A Roman senator who was criticized by classic kists for... Hey, I said, don't interrupt me. I know how to pronounce that word, I just... I made a mistake. I'm not dumb, okay? If you interrupt me again, I'll hit you. I'm not in the mood to hold back today. Criticized by Classicus for obstructing the first trium... trium... triumvir... <sighs> Damn it. I... I can't do this. I... I... I'm just done, okay? I don't want to do this anymore, so I'm leaving. You just find a way to finish it yourself. I'm sure you'll figure something out. I, I have to go home. <sighs> no, I'm not crying. I am not crying, and if you tell anyone in our class I was crying, I swear I'll shove that little mechanical pencil you always carry right up your... <sighs> okay... Fine. I am crying a little. <laughs> I just... I don't know. At the party this weekend, we were drinking and stuff, and... The guy, he made me feel like he liked me more than the other girls in our class because I don't try to be smart. And it made me feel... weird. I didn't say anything at the time because I knew he was trying to give me a compliment, but it hurt that he was basically saying he likes me because I'm just the hot, dumb girl. I've been thinking about it for a while. And now, I come over and you hand me your fancy little typed report with all these citations and footnotes and words I don't even know how to say, let alone what they mean. And I can't even get through the first sentence without mispronouncing everything and sounding like a dumb, stupid airhead. <laughs> no, it's not okay. The professor only paired us up because she does think I am dumb, stupid airhead, and I'll fail if you don't do all my work for me. Everyone thinks that. Everyone thinks that I'm just a stupid, hot, bitchy girl. And they're right. I don't know anything. I could never write this paper or do this project myself. I can't do anything right. Oh, yeah, right. You hate me. You don't care how I feel. I don't even know why I'm telling you any of this, like, as if you'd care. Wait. You... don't hate me? Even after... Even after all the times I locked you in the bathroom, or threw your lunch in the trash, or that one time I stole your belt and you had to spend all day with one hand holding up your pants. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry that I laughed at that. That wasn't nice. I shouldn't have did it. Really? Well, thanks, I guess. That's kind of sweet of you to say, considering how I've behaved towards you. You... You really think I'm not an airhead? <sighs> Normally, I'd punch you for having the nerve to put your arm around me like that, but... <laughs> I kinda like it. I can tell you're genuinely trying to make me feel better. 
even though I probably don't deserve it. That helps to be held. Can you hold me a little closer? It's okay, I want you to. Just lean in and sit real close to me. I'm sorry I called your hands sweaty. They're not sweaty, they're actually really nice and warm. <laughs> I like you rubbing my shoulders like that. You really mean that? You know, all this time I thought you were just a slim oddball teacher's pet, but you're actually really sweet. It's probably way too late for me to say this, but I'm sorry I was so rude to you. Not just today, but like, every time. <sighs> Thank you for accepting my apology. I know. I know it's not enough, but it's sincere, I promise. Everything I've ever said about you being weird, that wasn't right. And anyway, you know, I must be at least a little weird myself because even though I was just crying a little, this whole situation with you rubbing my back and that super sweet stuff you just said, it's kind of getting me in the mood. <sighs> Oh my god. You're adorable. In the mood for what? In the mood for this, genius. Did you like that? Sorry, I guess I always assume guys want to, you know, but I should have asked first. Do you... Do you want to do it again? I mean, we don't have to. Oh. Okay. The teacher's pet isn't so passive after all. I'll take that as a yes, buddy. Here, let me take the lead. I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty good at this. Here, lean back. Let me get in a more comfortable position. You don't mind if I get on top of you, do you? Oh my, it's getting a little hot all of a sudden. Let me just get my blazer off. <laughs> my shirt's getting a little tight too. I'll just unbutton that and get it open a little. <sighs> Much better. <sighs> now I can breathe. <laughs> There's that cute puppy dog look again. Why do you always get that look when you're nervous? Not that I'm complaining, it's pretty cute. Don't tell me this is your first time making out with a girl. Oh my god, wait, is it actually? I was just kidding, I mean, I know you're not exactly like the biggest playboy in class or whatever, but... Hey, wait, don't be embarrassed. I didn't mean to make you self-conscious, it's not a big deal. There's nothing wrong with not being as experienced. You know, it's actually kind of refreshing to be with someone who hasn't seen it all for a change. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't need to be nervous. We can take it slow. Here, let me bring my hand up and cup your cheek. Just close your eyes and tilt your head. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Nipple up my neck. <laughs> You're a quick learner. I guess that comes in handy in more places than a college class. <laughs> mm, hold me tighter. <laughs> You'd probably feel a little better if I undid your belt. Your pants look a little tight. I promise I won't steal it this time. <laughs> What do you say we take this over to the bed? Yeah? Okay. Here. 
just lie down. Let me lie down next to you. Mm -hmm. It's comfy. Is it super mean that I was expecting you to have, like, Superman sheets or something? <laughs> oh, those are in the laundry, are they? <laughs> You're actually really funny. You know that? How did I never realize that? <sighs> yeah, I guess I was too busy being a big jerk. <sighs> well, thanks. Hey, can I ask you something? I know it's a little weird to ask about classical history when we're in the middle of this, but, but I have to ask. Did you mean it when you said you think I'm smart enough to do this? Do you... Do you think if I tried harder, I could be a good student? Really? That means a lot for you to say. Thank you. Would you be willing to, like, tutor me next semester? We're both taking the second part of this class, right? Maybe we can meet every couple of days and go over the material together? I don't want to blow all this stuff off like I used to. I want to actually read the textbook and do the assignments and pay attention in class instead of responding to texts from boys I don't even like spending time with. I don't want to be the girl that doesn't try to act smart anymore. I want to be the person I should have been all along. Would you want to help? <sighs> Thanks. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm so glad I came over. And I'm glad the professor paired us up in the first place. Things are going to be different now, not just for me, but between the both of us. I promise. I want to get to know you better, and I want you to get to know the real me. Not just the me that you thought you knew. Maybe we could even be... I don't know. More than just study pals, if you wanted to be. In fact, <laughs> if I come over to get tutored by you every couple of days, I guess maybe I could tutor you in a thing or two as well. Speaking of, I think we were in the middle of your first lesson. Now, pay close attention, buddy, because you might know a lot about Roman senators or whatever, but I have a few areas of expertise myself, and this is one of them. <laughs> I practically have an MD in this stuff. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> You're the only person alive who would correct me on the difference between an MD and a PhD when we're in the middle of making out. No, I'm not mad, it's just, you're such a nerd. Oh wait, sorry, I said I wouldn't make fun of you anymore, but I didn't actually mean it in a bad way. You are a nerd, but you're a sweet, kind nerd. You're my nerd. Mm hmm. 